Adobe Cold Fusion Adobe Cold Fusion is a commercial rapid web application development computing platform created by J.J. Allaire in 1995. The programming language used with that platform is also commonly called Cold Fusion, though is more accurately known as CFML. Cold Fusion was originally designed to make it easier to connect simple HTML pages to a database. By version 2 1996, it became a full platform that included an IDE in addition to a full scripting language. Overview 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 One of the distinguishing features of Cold Fusion, CFML compares to the scripting components of ASP, JSP, and PHP in purpose and features, but its tag syntax more closely resembles HTML, while its script syntax resembles JavaScript. Cold Fusion is often used synonymously with CFML, but there are additional CFML application servers besides Cold Fusion, and Cold Fusion supports programming languages other than CFML, such as server side action script and embedded scripts that can be written in a JavaScript like language known as CFScript. Originally a product of Allier and released on July 2, 1995, Cold Fusion was developed by brothers Joseph J. Allier and Jeremy Allaire. In 2001, Allier was acquired by Macromedia, which in turn was acquired by Adobe Systems Inc. in 2005. Cold Fusion is most often used for data driven websites or intranets, but can also be used to generate remote services such as REST services, WebSockets, SOAP web services, or Flash remoting. It is especially well suited as the server side technology to the client side Ajax. Cold Fusion can also handle asynchronous events such as SMS and instant messaging via its gateway interface, available in Cold Fusion MX7 Enterprise Edition. Main Features Cold Fusion provides a number of additional features out of the box. Main features include simplified database access. Client and server cache management, client side cogeneration, especially for form widgets and validation, conversion from HTML to PDF, data retrieval from common enterprise systems such as Active Directory, LDAP, SNTP, POP, HTTP, FTP, Microsoft Exchange Server, and common data formats such as RSS and Atom, file indexing and searching service based on Apache Solar. GUI administration, server, application, client, session, and request scopes, XML parsing, querying XPath, validation, and transformation XSLT, server clustering, task scheduling, mm -hmm. graphing and reporting, simplified file manipulation, including raster graphics and CAPTCHA, and SIP archives introduction of video manipulation is planned in a future release. Simplified web service implementation with automated WSDL generation slash transparent SOAP handling for both creating and consuming services as an example. ASP, NET has no native equivalent for other implementations of CFML offer similar or enhanced functionality, such as running in a NET environment or image manipulation. The engine was written in C and featured among other things, a built-in scripting language CF script, plug-in modules written in Java, and a syntax very similar to HTML. The equivalent to an HTML element, a cold fusion tag begins with the letter CF, followed by a name that is indicative of what the tag is interpreted to in HTML, e.g. to begin the output of variables or other content. In addition to CF script and plugins as described, CF Studio provided a design platform with a WYSIWYG display. In addition to Cold Fusion, CF Studio also supports syntax in other languages popular for backend programming, such as Perl. In addition to making backend functionality easily available to the non programmer, version 4.0 and forward in particular integrated easily with the Apache web server and with Internet Information Services. Other features. All versions of Cold Fusion prior to 6.0 were written using Microsoft Visual C++.
This meant that Cold Fusion was largely limited to running on Microsoft Windows, although Allier did successfully port Cold Fusion to Sun Solaris starting with version 3.1. The Allier company was sold to Macromedia, then Macromedia was sold to Adobe. Earlier versions were not as robust as the versions available from version 4.0 forward. With the release of Cold Fusion MX 6.0, the engine had been rewritten in Java and supported its own runtime environment, which was easily replaced through its configuration options with the runtime environment from Sun. Version 6.1 included the ability to code and debug Macromedia Flash. Versions, versions, Cold Fusion 3. Version 3, released in June 1997, brought custom tags CF search slash CF index slash CF collection based on the Verity search engine, the server scope, and template encoding called then encryption. Version 3.1, released in Jan 1998, added RDS support as well as a port to the Sun Solaris operating system, while Cold Fusion Studio gained a live page preview and HTML syntax checker. Cold Fusion 4, Released in Nav 1998, version 4 is when the name was changed from Cold Fusion to Cold Fusion, possibly to distinguish it from Cold Fusion theory. The release also added the initial implementation of CF script, support for locking CF lock, transactions, CF transaction, hierarchical exception handling, CF dry slash CF catch, sandbox security, as well as many new tags and functions, including CF store proc. CF Cache, CF Switch, and more. Cold Fusion 4.5 Version 4.5, released in NAV 1999, expanded the ability to access external system resources, including COM and CORBA, and added initial support for Java integration, including EJB, POJOs, servlets, and Java CFX. IT also added the GetMetric data function to access performance information, additional performance information in page debugging output, enhanced string conversion functions, and optional whitespace removal. Cold Fusion 5 Version 5 was released in June 2001, adding enhanced query support, new reporting and charting features, user-defined functions, and improved admin tools. It was the last to be legacy coded for a specific platform, and the first release from Macromedia after their acquisition of Allaire Corporation, which had been announced January 16, 2001. Cold Fusion MX6 Prior to 2000, Edwin Smith, an Allaire architect on JRun and later the Flash Player, initiated a project codenamed Neo. This project was later revealed as a Cold Fusion server rewritten completely using Java. This made portability easier and provided a layer of security on the server because it ran inside a Java runtime environment. In June 2002, Macromedia released the version 6.0 product under a slightly different name, Cold Fusion MX, allowing the product to be associated with both the Macromedia brand and its original branding. Cold Fusion MX was completely rebuilt from the ground up and was based on the Java E platform. Cold Fusion MX was also designed to integrate well with Macromedia Flash using Flash remoting. With the release of Cold Fusion MX, the CFML language API was released with an OOP interface. Cold Fusion MX7 With the release of Cold Fusion 7.0 on February 7, 2005, the naming convention was amended, rendering the product name Macromedia Cold Fusion MX7. The codename for CFMX7 was Blackstone. CFMX7 added Flash based and XForms based web forms and a report builder that output in Adobe PDF as well as Flash Paper, RTF, and Excel. The Adobe PDF output is also available as a wrapper to any HTML page converting that page to a quality printable document. The Enterprise Edition also added gateways. These provide interaction with non-HTTP request services, such as IAM services, SMS, 
directory watchers, and an asynchronous execution. XML support was boosted in this version to include native schema checking. Cold Fusion MX 7.01 codename Merrimack added support for Mac OS X, improvements to Flash Forms, RTF support for CF Report, the new CFCP Roxy feature for Java slash CFC integration, and more. Cold Fusion MX 7.0, two codenamed Mystic included advanced features for working with Adobe Flex 2 as well as more improvements for the CF Report Builder. Adobe Cold Fusion 8 On July 30, 2007, Adobe Systems released Cold Fusion 8, dropping MX from its name. During beta testing, the codename used was Scorpio, the eighth sign of the zodiac, and the eighth iteration of Cold Fusion as a commercial product. More than 14,000 developers worldwide were active in the beta process, many more testers than the 5,000 Adobe systems originally expected. The Cold Fusion development team consisted of developers based in Newton slash Boston, Massachusetts, and offshore in Bangalore, India. Some of the new features are the CFPDF form tag, which enables integration with Adobe Acrobat forms, some image manipulation functions, Microsoft, NET integration, and the CF presentation tag, which allows the creation of dynamic presentations using Adobe Acrobat Connect, the web-based collaboration solution formerly known as Macromedia Breeze. In addition, the Cold Fusion Administrator, Cold Fusion 8 is available on several operating systems including Linux, Mac OS X and Windows Server 2003. Other additions to Cold Fusion 8 are built-in Ajax widgets, file archive manipulation CFSIP, Microsoft Exchange Server Integration CIF Exchange Image Manipulation, including automatic capture generation CIF image, multi-threading, per application settings, Atom and RSS feeds, reporting enhancements, stronger encryption library. For development of cold fusion applications, several tools are available, primarily Adobe Dreamweaver CS4 Macromedia Home Site 5, X, CF Eclipse, Eclipse, and others. Tag updaters are available for these applications to update their support for the new cold fusion 8 features. Adobe Cold Fusion 9. Cold Fusion 9 codenamed Centaur was released on October 5, 2009. New features for CF9 include ability to code Cold Fusion components CFC entirely in CF script, an explicit local scope that does not require local variables to be declared at the top of the function, implicit getters slash setters for CFC, implicit constructors via method called init or method with same name as CFC. New CF finally tag for exception handling syntax and CF continue tag for control flow. Object relational mapping ORM database integration through Hibernate Java. Server, CFC file with on server start and on server and methods. Tighter integration with Adobe Flex and Adobe AFR. Integration with key Microsoft products, including Word, Excel, SharePoint, Exchange, and PowerPoint. In memory management or virtual file system, an ability to treat content in memory as opposed to using the HDD. Exposed as services and ability to access securely functions of the server externally. Adobe Cold Fusion 10. Cold Fusion 10 codenamed, SUSE was released on May 15, 2012. New or improved features available in all editions standard, enterprise, and developer include, but are not limited to, security enhancements, hotfix installer, and notification. Improved scheduler based on a version of Quartz, Quartz. Improved web services support WSDL 2.0, SOAP 1.2.2, support for HTML5 web sockets, Tomcat integration, support for REST full web services, services, language enhancements, closures, and more, and more, and more, and more. Search integration with Apache Solar, HTML5 Video Player and Adobe Flash Player, Flex and Adobe AIR Lazy Loading, XPath Integration, 
HTML5 enhancements, additional new or improved features in Cold Fusion Enterprise, or developer editions include, but are not limited to, dynamic and interactive HTML5 charting, improved and revamped scheduler, additional features over what is added in CF10 standard. Object relational mapping enhancements the lists above were obtained from the Adobe website pages describing new features as listed first in the links in the following list. CF10 was originally referred to by the codename Zeus, after first being confirmed as coming by Adobe at Adobe MAX 2010 and during much of its pre-release period. It was also commonly referred to as Cold Fusion Next and Cold Fusion X in blogs, on Twitter, etc before Adobe finally confirmed it would be Cold Fusion 10. For much of 2010, Cold Fusion product manager Adam Lehman toured the U.S. setting up countless meetings with customers, developers, and user groups to formulate a master blueprint for the next feature set. In September 2010, he presented the plans to Adobe where they were given full support and approval by upper management. The first public beta of Cold Fusion 10 was released via Adobe Labs on 17 February 2012. Adobe Cold Fusion 11 Cold Fusion 11 codenamed Splendor was released on April 29, 2014. New or improved features available in all editions standard, enterprise, and developer include end-to-end -end mobile development, a new lightweight edition Cold Fusion Express, language enhancements, WebSocket enhancements, PDF generation enhancements, security enhancements, social enhancements, REST enhancements, charting enhancements, compression enhancements. Cold Fusion 11 also removed many features previously identified simply as deprecated or no longer supported in earlier releases. For example, the CFLOG tag long offered date and time attributes which were deprecated and redundant as the date and time is always logged. As of CF11, their use would not cause the CFLOG tag to fail. Adobe Cold Fusion 2016 Release Adobe Cold Fusion 2016 Release, codenamed Ragin and also known generically as Cold Fusion 2016, was released on February 16, 2016. New or improved features available in all editions standard, enterprise, and developer include language enhancements, command line interface CLI, PDF generation enhancements, security enhancements, external session storage readies, Swagger document generation, NTLM support, API manager, Adobe Cold Fusion 2018 release, Adobe Cold Fusion 2018 release. Known generically as Cold Fusion 2018, was released on July 12, 2018. Cold Fusion 2018 was codenamed Ether during pre release. As of July 2020, Adobe had released 10 updates for Cold Fusion 2018. New or improved features available in all editions standard, enterprise, and developer include language enhancements, including null abstract classes and methods, covariance and finals, closures and tags, and more, 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 and synchronous programming using futures, command line REPL, auto lockdown capability, Distributed Cache Support Readies, Memcached, JCSSS, REST Playground Capability, Modernized Admin UI, Performance Monitoring Toolset, Adobe Cold Fusion 2021 Release, Adobe Cold Fusion 2021 Release was released on Nov 11, 2020. Cold Fusion 2021 was codenamed Project Stratus during pre-release. New or improved features available in all editions standard, enterprise, and developer include Lightweight Installer, Cold Fusion Package Manager, Cloud Storage Services, Messaging Services, No SQL Database, Single Sign-On, 
button. Sign on. Core language changes. Performance monitoring tool set. Development roadmap. In SEP 2017, Adobe announced the roadmap anticipating releases in 2018 and 2020. Among the key features anticipated for the 2016 release were new performance monitor enhancements to asynchronous programming, revamped REST support, and enhancements to the API manager, as well as support for CF 2016 projected into 2024. As for the 2020 release, the features anticipated at that time in 2017 were configurability modularity of CF application services, revamped scripting, and object-oriented support, and further enhancements to the API manager. Features, features, PDF generation. Cold Fusion can generate PDF documents using standard HTML, i.e. no additional coding is needed to generate documents for print. CFML authors place HTML and CSS within a pair of CF document tags or new in Cold Fusion 11, CFHTML top tags. The generated document can then either be saved to disk or sent to the client's browser. Cold Fusion 8 introduced also the CFPDF tag to allow for control over PDF documents, including PDF forms and merging of PDF. These tags, however, do not use Adobe's PDF engine, but CF document uses a combination of the commercial JPEDAL. Java PDF library and the free and open source Java library iText and CFHTML top to uses an embedded WebKit implementation. Cold Fusion Components Objects Cold Fusion was originally not an object oriented programming language like PHP versions 3 and below. Cold Fusion falls into the category of old languages that do not support multiple inheritance along with Java, Smalltalk, etc. With the MX release 6 Plus, Cold Fusion introduced basic OO functionality with the component language construct, which resembles classes in OO languages. Each component may contain any number of properties and methods. One component may also extend another inheritance. Components only support single inheritance. Object handling feature set and performance enhancing has occurred with subsequent releases. With the release of Cold Fusion 8, Java style interfaces are supported. Cold Fusion components use the file extension CFC to differentiate them from Cold Fusion templates. CFM. Oh, FM. Remoting. Component methods may be made available as web services with no additional coding and configuration. All that is required is for a method's access to be declared remote. Cold Fusion automatically generates a WSDL at the URL for the component in this manner HTTP slash slash path slash to slash components slash component CFC WSDL. Aside from SOAP, the services are offered in flash remoting binary format. Methods which are declared remote may also be invoked via an HTTP GET or POST request. Consider the GET request as shown. HTTP slash slash path slash to slash components slash component CFC. Method equals search and query equals your plus query and mode equals strict. This will invoke the components search function, passing your query and strict as arguments. This type of invocation is well suited for AJAX enabled applications. Cold Fusion 8 introduced the ability to serialize Cold Fusion data structures to JSON for consumption on the client. The Cold Fusion server will automatically generate documentation for a component if you navigate to its URL and insert the appropriate code within the component's declarations. This is an application of component introspection available to developers of Cold Fusion components. Access to a component's documentation requires a password. A developer can view the documentation for all components known to the Cold Fusion server by navigating to the Cold Fusion URL. This interface resembles the Javadoc HTML documentation for Java classes. Custom tags. Cold Fusion provides several ways to implement custom markup language tags i.e. those not included in the core Cold Fusion language. 
These are especially useful for providing a familiar interface for web designers and content authors familiar with HTML, but not imperative programming. The traditional and most common way is using CFML. A standard CFML page can be interpreted as a tag with the tag name corresponding to the file name prefixed with CF. For example, the file map CFM can be used as the tag CFMAP. Attributes used within the tag are available in the attributes scope of the tag implementation page. CFML pages are accessible in the same directory as the calling page via a special directory in the Cold Fusion web application or via a CF import tag in the calling page. The latter method does not necessarily require the CF prefix for the tag name. A second way is the developments of CFX tags using Java or C++. CFX tags are prefixed with CFX, for example CFX map. Tags are added to the Cold Fusion runtime environment using the Cold Fusion administrator, where JAR or DLL files are registered as custom tags. Finally, Cold Fusion supports JSP tag libraries from the JSP 2.0 language specification. JSP tags are included in CFML pages using the CF import tag. Interactions with other programming languages Cold Fusion and Java. The standard Cold Fusion installation allows the deployment of Cold Fusion as a WAR file or EAR file for deployment. Cold Fusion can also be deployed to servlet containers such as Apache Tomcat and Mortbay Jetty. But because these platforms do not officially support Cold Fusion, they leave many of its features inaccessible. As of Cold Fusion 10, Macromedia J Run was replaced by Apache Tomcat. Because Cold Fusion is a Java E application, Cold Fusion code can be mixed with Java classes to create a variety of applications and use existing Java libraries. Cold Fusion has access to all underlying Java classes, supports JSP custom tag libraries, and can access JSP functions after retrieving the JSP page context get page context. Prior to Cold Fusion 7.01, Cold Fusion components could only be used by Java or NET by declaring them as web services. However, beginning in Cold Fusion MX 7.01, Cold Fusion components can now be used directly within Java classes using the CFC proxy class. Recently, there has been much interest in Java development using alternate languages such as Jython, Groovy, and JRuby. Cold Fusion was one of the first scripting platforms to allow this style of Java development. Cold Fusion and Net Cold Fusion 8 natively supports in ET within the CFML syntax. Cold Fusion developers can simply call any in ET assembly without needing to recompile or alter the assemblies in any way. Data types are automatically translated between Cold Fusion and in ET example. In ET data table Cold Fusion query. A unique feature for a Java E vendor, Cold Fusion 8 offers the ability to access NET assemblies remotely through proxy without the use of NET remoting. This allows Cold Fusion users to leverage NET without having to be installed on a Windows operating system. Acronyms The acronym for the Cold Fusion markup language is CFML. When Cold Fusion templates are saved to disk, they are traditionally given the extension CFM or CFML. The <laughs> CSC extension is used for cold fusion components. The original extension was DBM or DBML, which stood for database markup language. When talking about cold fusion, most users use the acronym CF, and this is used for numerous Cold Fusion resources such as user groups, CFUGs, and sites. CFMX is the common abbreviation for Cold Fusion versions 6 and 7, aka Cold Fusion MX. Alternative server environments, vulnerabilities, 
In March 2013, a known issue affecting cold fusion 8, 9, and 10 left the National Vulnerability Database open to attack. The vulnerability had been identified and a patch released by Adobe for CF9 and CF10 in January. In April 2013, a cold fusion vulnerability was blamed by Linode for an intrusion into the Linode Manager Control Panel website. A security bulletin and hotfix for this had been issued by Adobe a week earlier. In May 2013, Adobe identified another critical vulnerability, reportedly already being exploited in the wild, which targets all recent versions of Cold Fusion on any servers where the web-based administrator and API have not been locked down. The vulnerability allows unauthorized users to upload malicious scripts and potentially gain full control over the server. A security bulletin and hotfix for this was issued by Adobe six days later. In April 2015, Adobe fixed a cross-site scripting excesses vulnerability. In Adobe Cold Fusion 10 before Update 16, and in Cold Fusion 11 before Update 5, that allowed remote attackers to inject arbitrary web script or HTML, however, it's exploitable only by users who have authenticated through the administration panel. In September 2019, Adobe fixed two command injection vulnerabilities, CVM-2019-8073, that enabled arbitrary code, and an alleyway traversal CVM-2019-8000. Thousands. 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 Thousands.